Hey guys, Kpix here with another League of Legends gameplay. And this is part two of the Ramus gameplay. And you can see right there we do manage to pick off Aurelia. But unfortunately their team was ready for that and they uh, caught up and two of us died so it wasn't really worth it. So, and you can see that I am uh, taking the damage for Bran and then my flash comes up and I flash over the wall. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this and that in my other previous videos, but I am a huge anti-flash guy. I use it because it's broken, but I just... There's got, they gotta fix it somehow, cause people, it's too easy to get away from a situation where you'll die, so that's why I'm not a big fan of the move flash. But, so, in the remaining video, I wanna talk about, um, steps to tank, to help improve your, uh, tanking abilities with any tank, cause, um, there's, there's a certain key things you can do and have your mindset right in the right place to um, help yourself be a better tank. So once you get the items and you, you learn all the skills, that's that's the first step. After you do that, all you really have to learn how to do is to uh, A, how to position yourself, B, how to uh, always be with your team, and it, right here you can, you can see that um, Focusing the tank is not going to get you anywhere. They do kill me, but my team cleans up. So, yeah. Whenever you're a carry, you always want to focus their squishies. And when I, just in case if you didn't know what a squishy means, it's someone with uh, low HP. And I always use my uh, best example of a, someone like Ash. But anyways, so, position. You always want to be in front of your team and you always want to be in a position where you can engage the enemy team and have your team follow up. So position is is important but it's not the most important thing to do. As long as you're always there for your team you'll be a good tank and uh, yeah. So the second thing is uh, working with your team. Now this is important because you don't want to necessarily engage on an enemy team if your team is not ready. And when I say uh, when your team is ready, they're in position, they're ready to uh, attack, then they'll know, they'll know when you uh, are ready to go in. And then the, the third thing is uh, knowing how to CC for your team. And when I say CC, but you really, what that means is knowing how to disable the enemy team correctly so you can protect your carries and engage on the enemy team and keep them locked down so your carries can pick them off. And the last thing I wanted to talk about to basically sum up the tanking thing is you have to always be willing to tank damage in any given team fight because you always want the enemy team focusing on you. So that's why you, that's why you get all the tank items on a tank. So you can be and when I play tank, whenever I'm in a team fight, I always, I am always very suicidal. I'll always be in there no matter what HP I have. And that gives me a good that lets them target me because they're like, "Ooh, that guy's low, let's kill him." And that's a, a kind of a mistake you can do if you are uh attacking the tank. So I guess it's a little another tip. So if you see the tank and he's at low HP, but there's a carry next to him, go for the carry even if the tank is low HP. Because the amount of time it takes you to kill the tank with all, all of his health, armor, and magic resist is still going to be more than killing the carry. And that will just give you the carry that much more time to actually kill you. So hopefully that helps you guys. Because I'm always trying to uh, give a little bit of tips here to help you guys, for those of you who actually watch the video. And the next thing I want to talk about is future videos. I really want to know what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see 
more of these gameplays where it's a full League of Legends match and I talk about the champion I play. But would you guys rather see just short little cool clips like uh, for an example when I smited and stole dragon those kind of clips because I'm willing to do both and I'm just I'm curious what people would rather see and there's deterring from what I was just saying there's a good example of how to tank I stayed in there no matter what and now we just scored an ace I believe or maybe gangplank still alive because gang nope there we go yep we scored an ace that's the, pretty much what you hope for, is that your carries can uh, clean up after you're dead. But anyways, back to my topic. So let me know in the comments below or wherever you do find this video, what kind of video you guys want to see. And other than that, that's really all I really want to talk about in this video. So I'm actually going to cut the commentary short here and remind you guys that if you aren't subscribed and you like these videos, just hit that subscribe button because it's free. It lets me know that people actually are watching my videos besides just the view counter. Oh, and be before I go, this is a good example here coming up about... Oh, we catch this or Oriana off guard and you ta I taunted her, but this is where you can't really help her anymore because one thing, she's trying to focus the tank, and I'm like, you shouldn't be focusing the tank. And then Skarner comes in, and that just reinforces them. So now I'm thinking, well, I can't really help them because it's 3v3 right now, but they got the upper hand since Aurelia is almost dead. So at this point, I'm like, just run away because we can't really help her. Cause she kind of overextended by trying to kill the gear. But anyways, back to the goodbyes. Um, thanks a lot for watching guys. It's uh if you are subscribed, thanks a lot. That sounded very sarcastic, I apologize, that wasn't sarcastic at all. Cause I really appreciate appreciate all fourteen of you who are subscribed to me at the moment of myself making this video. But anyways, again, thanks for watching. I say that a lot in my videos. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.